<laughs> Likewise. There's no need to be so formal with us. We're a pretty casual crew. Anyway, uh, since we've got a newcomer, let me fill you in on what the Khan al akhmar has been up to lately. They've become extremely aggressive. Apparently, even their own now have become acceptable targets. They even attack other relics brigades, just the same as any other mercenary brigade. Even the most ferocious beasts still protect their own. But it sounds like they've thrown that straight to the wind. <sighs> That's right. Once they've collected enough loot off the other mercenaries, they sell it off to a different brigade, or, or turn to merchants on the black market. A portion of their profits is immediately exchanged for more food and weaponry to be used in their next violent operation. That's terrible! Yeah, and it really makes you wonder why they're so desperate for Mora. A few days ago, Isham and I trailed them for a while, and even disguised ourselves as merchants to conduct trade with them. We were able to learn a few things from the exchange. Rather than saying they're out to plunder and hoard Mora, it'd probably be more accurate to say that they're experiencing an internal power struggle. Wait, a power struggle? You heard me right. The vast majority of their victims are mercenaries from the other brigades of Deshret's relics. If their only goal was Mora, they could have gone after anybody. The targeted nature of their attacks points to a power struggle between the different brigades within the relics. That's the only plausible explanation we have. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find out anything more specific. It seems they're also trying to keep things under wraps. Oh, one last thing we discovered was that over the past few years, as to Khan al Ahmar. Hmm, sounds mighty strange to me too. Harun, you can leave the rest of the investigation to us. Gotta say though, I didn't expect you to go on a whole undercover mission during the few days I was gone. Sounds like you were really putting your necks on the line, no? Nah, it was nothing. We're just as concerned about the situation as you are. The Khan al Ahmar is your father's crew after all. <laughs> what he said. Besides, Dia, haven't you done more dangerous things than all of us combined? What we did is nothing compared to your experiences. Yeah! And while they went to talk with Dakan al Akmar, I took a look at the last camp they attacked. Any survivors of the attack were already long gone. There was nothing of value left in the camp. Ah, Hisham and Kalaf. You're here too. We rushed over as soon as we saw you come into Caravan Rebot. Although this new friend of yours looks a little green behind the ears, I'm sensing a special vibe from her. Now that we know you'll have a capable partner with you, we can also rest easy. Hey, what about Paimon? Feel anything special? Oh, uh, you're also planning to tag along with them? Of course! Paimon is the Traveler's most important guide! Wherever she goes, Paimon will follow! Oh, in that case... Then you'd better take care of her too, Dia. <laughs> Don't underestimate Paimon! <laughs> Don't worry about her. She may look tiny and helpless, but she's been through just as many battles as the Traveler here. Even if she had only survived on sheer luck, then that alone would still make her quite formidable. <laughs> I had no idea. I guess I shouldn't judge by appearances. <laughs> oh, one other thing, Dia. When you're free, why don't you update the deputy about your upcoming schedule? We held another recruitment event a few days ago, but everyone only came to see the flame main. You weren't around at the time, so people were pretty disappointed to only find our crew of... The deputy put a lot of effort into the event, but it was basically for nothing. Only a few people chose to stay and... Ah, uh, sorry to hear that. I'll be sure to bring him some great liquor next time. I left in a hurry and I couldn't make it back in time for the event. 